Whether you feed dry, canned, cooked, or raw food, it's important to feed a variety of different foods so your dog receives all of the nutrients that they need to live a long, healthy, and happy life. And a great way to add more variety to your dog's diet is with these tin meal toppers, which can enhance their skin, coat, and joint health, and also improve their digestion and immune system. So here's how to supercharge your dog's food. Number one, egg with a secret boost. From the shell to the yolk, the egg is one of nature's natural multivitamins. After all, the yolk's purpose is to provide nutrients to a growing chick. So it's packed full of protein, iron, selenium, vitamin D, and so much more. There's also another important part about the egg that not many people realize. The eggshell membrane. The membrane is on the inside of the shell, and it packs a secret boost of compounds that support the joints, like collagen, glucosamine, and chondroitin. When I'm making eggs for myself, I always save the membranes for my dog Matsu. But eggs don't stop there. Eggshells are the perfect calcium booster for strengthening bones because they're 95% pure calcium carbonate. Number two, dehydrated rabbit ears. These furry ears are a low calorie, high fiber treat that your dog will love. Matsu sure does, and the furrier, the better. Skin with fur is a great natural source of insoluble fiber and is what your dog would naturally be eating if they were catching their own prey. Fur helps bulk the stool, which not only helps with constipation, but also aids in expressing the anal glands naturally. Number three, bone broth. Bone broth is an amazing elixir for the gut, and it's also a simple and nutritious way to hydrate your dog's food. To make it from home, all you need are bones with a lot of joints and ligaments, water, and a splash of apple cider vinegar. Then let it simmer for at least a day. The joints and ligaments fill the broth with collagen and glutamine, which your dog's joints and ligaments need to stay healthy. One key ingredient in bone broth actually makes for a great meal topper, so stick around for that later in the video. Number four, nutritional yeast. Now, some hear yeast and might think yeast infections, but don't worry. Nutritional yeast is deactivated, so the risk of it giving your dog yeast problems is slim to none. This superfood contains a ton of nutrients like protein, iron, potassium, and is exploding with essential B vitamins. But not only is it nutritious, it's also super tasty. Nutritional yeast is well known for its cheesy flavor and smell. So if your dog is a picky eater, sprinkling nutritional yeast is a healthy and tasty way to entice them to eat. Number five, elk velvet antler. When young elks grow out their antlers, a fuzzy velvet covers them until they mature. And the inner cartilage of this fuzzy velvet makes for a very unique topper. In Chinese medicine, elk velvet has been used to strengthen bones, improve the immune system, and support the joints. Elk velvet also contains important minerals like manganese, zinc, iron, and copper, which are all needed in your dog's diet. Even though Matsu's joints are healthy, I like to feed elk velvet now and then to support them. Number six, myoglobin. Myoglobin is that red liquid in the packaging of red meats and organs. Many think it's blood, but it's actually a protein found in muscle tissue. And it's a great way to add moisture to your dog's meal while also boosting crucial nutrients like B vitamins, iron, and amino acids. So next time you see some myoglobin at the bottom of a meat container, be sure to either pour it over your dog's food or freeze it into molds and turn it into a frozen treat. Number seven, fermented grasses. Fermented foods have good bacteria or probiotics added to it. This not only helps preserve the food, but it also helps the body absorb more nutrients from the food. Probiotics also help keep the gut healthy and the immune system strong. There are many different fermented foods and drinks, but I like to feed fermented and powdered grasses because certain grasses like wheatgrass are high in vitamin E, which is a little low in most meat. Number eight, mussels. These little mollusks are packed with the essential mineral manganese, which helps connective tissue grow and supports the joints. Mussels are also a great source of omega-3s, which keep the skin healthy and coat shiny. Since Matsu is fed a homemade raw diet, he gets mussels almost daily. Number nine, goat cheese. 
Dogs tend to like cheese, but the cheese we usually have at home is processed, seasoned, and from a cow. Now, this isn't bad to feed as an occasional treat, but a great alternative to cow cheese is goat cheese, which is lower in lactose and has shorter fat molecules, which lead to easier digestion. Cheese provides a lot of calories and fat, so if your dog is highly active or a growing puppy, adding some goat cheese is a great way to boost calories and fat. I often add it to Matsu's meals on his agility days. Number 10, raw poultry feet. Raw chicken, duck, and pheasant feet are great meaty bones to feed for so many reasons. As we learned in the bone broth section, meaty bones that are high in joints and ligaments can provide a lot of joint supporting compounds. So not only are they great to make bone broth with, but they're also great to feed raw. Raw poultry feet are also pretty chewy, which helps scrape tartar off the teeth as your dog gnaws on them. Chicken feet were one of Matsu's favorite meaty bones when he was a puppy. The thing is though, many believe that feeding bones is dangerous but this is actually a common misconception. The right-sized meaty bones are not only safe to feed, but may even be critical to your dog's diet. Watch this video to see why raw bones are so important and how they can be fed safely.